All right, I promised you guys an update about that rhododendron video that we did last October. But first, I've got some really cool news, and before I get started, I just want to say I'm not connected to this in any way. I just love what this guy is doing and wanted to let you guys know about it. In fact, I believe in it so much, I'm putting my money where my mouth is. So if you guys remember root pods, I did some videos on them last summer, and we did some air layering with them. Really cool little device that gets roots on just about any plant that you want to root through the summer. It's almost a surefire bet on propagating plants. And this is what those little root pods look like. Now, this guy actually invented these. He made the mold for them and then makes them out of his pole barn. But you guys, as well as me, said, man, I want something bigger than this. And we've been bugging him for a year now. Well, he's finally going to make it happen, but he needs a little bit of help. So I'm just going to send you guys over to his link. I'll put a link down below to his Kickstarter campaign. He's really trying to get the money together to build a mold for a bigger root pod. And then we can propagate even bigger plants. So if you think that'd be cool, something you're interested in, go check it out. There's a link in the description below. On to the video. Let's go check out these roadies. Now, this is where the last video started. We were talking about Loderai King George, and there are so many people who love this variety and want it. And so I thought I'd show you. I actually had this one planted out in my landscape over the last couple of years, but it was right up against a fir tree. It wasn't getting enough water. I dug it up, put it in a seven gallon pot this last spring, and look at all the beautiful, lush growth that this thing's putting on. I mean, look at that leaf compared to my hand. These are beautiful trees. They get massive in size and they have the most beautiful blooms. Now, if you haven't seen that video from last October, I'll put a link down in the description below. Go check it out now. But here are the rhododendrons that were in that video. And if you remember, we potted them all up and had them here and then clipped them back. So they were just barely down here above the pots with a couple little leaves and we all cringed. But Look at how much growth they've put on in just one growing season. You saw them last October when I filmed them, but now, after this spring, they are really starting to flush out. I mean, this is what these things do in just such a short amount of time, and I love all the different varieties of rhododendrons that we have in here. They are such beautiful plants. Let's go check out the propagation frame from last year and see how those rooted cuttings look now. But first I gotta show you my little Col de Dom Noir. I don't know why I love that fig so much. I love the leaf pattern. Just a little baby guy. We did an air layer on that last year. It's starting to come up. I was worried that little Rockaway Green wasn't gonna make it. Look at it sprouting up new growth. And then our big Jim Wilson. Look at that sucker proud and tall so there it is the trusty old propagation frame and you can see these things need to get out of here bad those leaves are pushing the glass off the top here let's lift this up and see what we've got look at that guys look at all of that now all of this is new growth of course and we're going to clip that back once we get them potted up because we want them to branch out a little better this is what they do when they're so young and new but you'll wanna prune them back right away. And if you've been watching me for a while, you've seen me do plenty of that in the past. These guys are, they're just pushing up against the glass. I, I'm, I'm a month late on getting all these potted up, but let's look at these Loderai King George again. Remember I showed you this in that last video, last October? Look at those guys. We got a ton of these Loderai King George, and I am so excited to see these guys start growing and get ready to bloom in a few years because they are going to be some gorgeous plants. These are going to get planted out on my property. We got so many different varieties in here. A lot of these varieties that you guys saw in that landscape video that I just posted, I get all of these right from my place. Now wait, here is the most exciting thing I want to show you guys. If you've been following me for more than probably four years now, you will know that that right there is something special for me. And I talked about this in one of my previous videos. Look at that. I've got one rooted cutting that is putting on new growth right here and doing really well. And I am so excited because after propagating these for years, I've never been able to get this variety to root and I finally got one. Here it is. Senator Jackson and it is the most beautiful white bloom you ever saw and I finally got one I'm so excited. We got to take care of that little girl. So this project started over a year and a half ago These guys are obviously not rooted. We'll just pull them out right now But I am gonna go after my Senator Jackson first and I want to be really careful with this one because I just don't want any chance of this thing not making it 
after all this time trying to get these things to root. We're gonna go down under there and try to find the roots here. There we go. All right, we've got a nice little root ball on there. Now I'm not gonna disturb it any more than that. I'm just gonna carry it right to a pot and we're going to get this guy potted up. All right, one down and about 150 to go. I think next we are gonna go after, what do we have here? We're gonna go after the Marquitas Prize. Those are another tough one to root. I'm gonna put those over here. This is one of my wife's favorites. It's a beautiful red. And then we can go after those Loderi King George. been several more days and we have just come out of a deluge of rain and suddenly it is heating up like crazy feels real muggy in here the sun's coming out but i finally got all of these rhododendron cuttings all potted up let's take a look and there it is all finished up now you'll notice i've got things a little bit different this time than i normally do if you look over on this side you can see just about every one of these pots are in two gallon pots or every one of these roadies in two gallon pots isn't that crazy look at that isn't that just nuts in one spring just a couple months how much beautiful new growth has been taken off right here i mean these things are just filling out amazing i love how these rhododendrons do i've been cleaning up over here these figs a little bit i'm going to get these guys up potted somewhat and then all these guys the difference they're all in one gallon pots i did that to save time and space because we've got a lot going on right now and i've got some future plans real quick too guys i'll show you I also went through all of these rhododendrons as I've done millions of times before, well, maybe tens of thousands, and pruned all this top growth back. But you see all those little buds. I've showed you guys this in other videos. Those little buds in there are gonna shoot off and I'll get two or three growths and these guys will get a great start right from the beginning and they'll be able to start branching out and being bushy. Putting them in one gallon pots is gonna be a challenge because they will just start taking over this spot and they're gonna need more room. I'm gonna to have to up pot them next year. I just need some time, I'm buying time right now and that's all this is about. Real quick, here's an example of pruning back early. You see this is a Lems Monarch and it's got three or four, actually five, shoots of growth coming up here. But if you look down the center, let's get down in there, you can see last year I cut that little branch back and now it's spread out in multiple bud sites throughout that little rhododendron. It's gonna be a fuller, healthier, beautiful plant in the long run. We are in the middle of trying to figure out multiple things all at once here. And I'll just make it real quick. If you guys want to go into this in more detail down the road, we can in another video. But we're trying to build a home here. When we bought this property, it had a mobile home on it. We always had a dream of building a stick built solid bones home for us and Henry. And we finally got to the point where we're starting to try to figure out that process. So my time has been sucked up a little bit. That's why I potted these guys up in one gallon pots this time. I needed to save time and bark and just get them in here and get it done. The other thing is we are seriously considering, in fact, I think I've made up my mind on it. I'm not quite sure yet, but I go back and forth, but I'm like, I'm like 75% there, 80% there. We want to tear this whole hoop house down and build a bigger hoop house. This past winter, I bought an entire structure for a 20 by, well, just depends on how far you space the tubes out, but a massive hoop house here, much bigger than what we had. This is 20 foot wide, these hoops, and we're thinking space them four foot apart. This was originally, this is one and five eighths tubing, and it was originally built for six foot spacing, but I've seen some um, hoop houses go down in the snow here in the winter. So we're thinking four foot spacing, 76 foot long, and that's what we want to do. So here's the hoop house now, and then we've got this shed here. I want this shed completely out of here. We want to extend that hoop house to about three, actually it's about three or four foot in from the edge of this all the way out to here. That'll extend it another 12 or 14 foot forward. And then we're gonna go 20 foot this way. By doing that, it'll fill in the space between our two shops and the garden. And I'll be able to come in here and do this right the first time. I've told you guys in previous videos, my one big regret about this structure is the flooring, which is gravel 
and I did a good job packing it down and putting a lot of gravel down, but it was a finer gravel and we've had moles come up through it. So this time we're gonna do it right. So there you go, rhododendron progression and future plants all in one. Hit the like button, subscribe, have a fantastic week guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Adios.